Hello everyone and welcome back to another diecast haul. Yeah, we got another diecast haul. Now this is probably the last diecast haul for a while when it comes to new releases. Because apparently Lionel is no longer, from what I've heard, I don't know if it's true, but apparently Lionel is no longer like putting out the ETAs or expected time arrivals or the shipping reports, you know, stuff like that. So I don't know if that's true, I don't know if that's not true. Either way, uh, it, I think this is the last little bit we have for the new releases until Lionel just puts out some new ones, because I think I got all the pre-orders here that I wanted that has just released. Now, I'm not trying to collect every 2020 NASCAR diecast or every 2021. I'm not that person. I don't try to collect every single one of them. I just, I collect the ones that I kind of like or the ones I'm going to use uh, for the Little Wrangler Cup series, you know, stop motion series. By the way, that is coming back very, very soon. I just don't know when. But anyway, I have gathered these boxes uh, for the past uh, couple, eh, I want to say like a week or so, maybe like a week and a half. I've kind of gathered these boxes over time. So we're probably going to start out with the middle uh, middle one right here. Uh, these two, it's kind of hard to tell which one's bigger than the other. Of course, this one's taller and uh, longer, but when you lay it flat, it doesn't have the same uh, area, space, or whatever, so I'm probably going to go with the big one right here in the middle, and then the one in the back, and then I think these three are the exact same size, so we're just going to get the two of those just when, you know, whenever we get done with the first two. So, we're going to go ahead and start this diecast haul off very quickly, because uh, I, I only have a short amount of time to do this, so I better get this done uh, fa uh, fairly fast, because fairly fast, fairly fast, there we go, I'm trying to speak, so... Again, got to get this underway. We got some awesome die casts in here as far as I know of. I don't really know which ones are in here. I'm assuming, again, I think all the pre-orders are in here that I wanted. And there's a couple other uh, few ones that have already been released. But we have one Authentics in the back, I'm pretty sure. Or it's in the big box. I don't know for sure. They look like they can both hold one. Either way, we'll figure it out. So let's get this die cast haul underway. Here is the first box of the die cast haul. Now I've got a little uh, deer knife right here, so we're going to uh, get that uh, use out of it for once, because I don't think I've ever used this in our video. I don't think I have yet anyway. It's been hanging on the wall for like years. I don't even know where I got it from. But I don't have a box cut or anything, and I don't have my normal knives with me, so I'm just going to have to uh, get in here and see if I can even open this freaking thing. Ooh, look at the bottom of the box. I didn't even notice that. that ooh, that's so... What? What happened? Why is it so damaged? Huh. I, normally I never get damaged boxes, so that's a little little odd. So it was either how it was packaged or something just happened in the meantime. Either way, as long as the die cast is okay on the inside, I do not mind. But I don't remember uh, getting anything that should be, like, huge. Oh! I know what this is. Look. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is going to be awesome. I don't know why they use such a big box. But it is a 164. It's not a Authentics or anything, so that means the other one is an Authentics. But if I can get this opened, this is actually a pretty awesome die cast. So if we can get it open, now I would hate to do anything to this specific one. But I do have to thank uh, my good friend Colton for helping me get this die cast. He paid for half of it. I didn't even ask. Uh, he's like, hey, here's the listing for this specific die cast. I'll pay half of it if you want to. And, or if you want to do that, I'm like, okay, yeah, we can do that. And then I just ended up, like, giving them some stuff in return anyway. So, I actually already have this die cast, and this die cast is in frame right now. So, if I can get this open, you can see what I'm talking about. Now, this is a die cast, or a custom die cast that I've wanted to do for so long, but, like, I, I hate to do it, but at the same time, being an Alex Bowman fan, I have to. I got another Cincinnati die cast. Look at that right there, you can see. So, I have two of them down there at the bottom. Uh, yeah, this diecast is going to be turned into, uh, of course, you know, his 2020 win, his only 2020 win. Uh, again, I hate to do that, but I mean, I, I have to. I have to. I'm a Bowman fan, so right? So, now, the only reason I hate to do it is because this diecast is so rare. Now, his second win, this one right here, was not offered. It wasn't offered in the Gold Series, Authentics. It was only offered in the 124 scale for ARC and Elite. I don't know if they had, like, liquid colors or anything, but either way... Uh, we only got it 124 scale, which does suck, but again, uh, thank you to my good friend Colton on Instagram. I'll link his uh, Instagram into the description if you want to go uh, check him out and drop him a follow. 
uh, we was able to get this. So it was very nice of him. Uh, it was like 40 bucks. He paid 20 I paid 20 Then I ended up like giving him some stuff. Or I'm going to give him some stuff either way. I can't really remember. Uh, but yeah. So either way, got the Alex Bowman Cincinnati paint scheme right here. Uh, custom coming soon. Trust me. It's going to be it's gonna be soon, that's for sure. So kicking it off with a rare die cast. We're going to put that down there. Of course, we're going to put the box down here as well. So that means this bad boy is an authentic so let's go ahead and move on to our next box again which has an authentics which i only ordered one authentic die cast so i know exactly which one this one is so i am definitely excited for this here is the box right here so let's go ahead and kind of open this bad boy real quick if i can get it open that'd be nice come on now come on now i know you can do better than that come on come on come on there we go we might have gotten it i don't know for sure uh, let's see here. Oh, it's taped like 40 different times. Hold on. Come on now. Get, I need a sharper knife. This thing sucks. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I cut it. Okay. Doesn't suck as much as I thought it did. There we go. Now, of course, down the middle, like we always do. Now, I hope it didn't cut the die cast. That would be terrible. So, get this bad boy open. There we go. Now, we can actually see what is inside. Oh, there's the back of it right there. Uh, what does this say? Your order made my day. I hope this package makes yours. Huh. I like that. It's got that right there. Of course, it's got thanks on the back. Very, very cool. Oh, and look at this. We got uh, some pink S's right here. So you can see the wave it's from. So we will go ahead and open this because it's wrapped in bubble wrap, which there's nothing wrong with that. If it's good packaging, I do not mind at all to uh, carefully open it, I might add. One problem is, though, I really don't want to, like, hurt this package again, because it's an authentics. It's a card back. So, I want to try my best. Oh, I hit my camera. Oops. So, I want to try my best not to hurt the package. And, by the, uh, by the way, the big white thing you saw was a freezer, so don't, don't mind that. Uh, I actually just put that in there uh, two days ago, I think, two or three days ago. There we go. Now, here's the die cast. Woo! This thing is beautiful. Let me get this box out of the way real quick. Take a look at this bad boy. We got the Austin Cendric liquid color. Now, I think this is like 20 some odd dollars. Now, you may be thinking, wow, $20 for a, you know, $5 chase piece? Oh, yeah, but normally you get them for 40 50 60 even dollars. So, yeah, I, I picked this up as quickly as I could uh, simply because it was so cheap. And it completes the wave. And... I have a brand new liquid color, and <laughs> the green on this thing is incredible. Now, if you may be wondering, uh, no, I'm not going to do a diecast review on this because, you know, it's going to be uh, requiring to take it out of the box. Not going to do that. That's not what I do, but I do have the whole wave reviewed, so if you want to go check that out, I believe I bought every single diecast. Uh, yeah, I bought and reviewed every single diecast, but the Interstate Batteries, and was there another one? No, I think... I think I got all of them, and I didn't I didn't review this one because I already had it in a gold series, and I did that review as well. So, link to that wave review in the description if you want to go check that as well. So, so far, we got two awesome die casts, one super rare and one uh, chase piece, so you can also count that as rare if you would like to. I think this makes my seventh liquid color, or eighth. I don't really remember for sure. Either way, if I'm lucky enough, I'll get the Bowman liquid color too. I hope the goodness I get that, because that's one thing I do really, really, really want. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the final boxes, which is three of the small ones, as you guys saw in the beginning. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what is inside of those, and then that should be it for the video. So, so far we got two awesome die casts. We got the Liquid Color from Wave 4, the newest Wave, of course, other than Wave 5. I don't count that, because it was just released, and nobody's found it in stores yet, other than the retail store for Lionel, of course. I think this is going to be a great video, though. Honestly, got a super rare die cast, a liquid color, and brand new releases. So let's go ahead and check those out. So here is the first box. I believe all of these was from K-State. I know two of them was, but I don't know if the third one was. I, I want to say yeah, but I can't really remember. Either way, I get all my die casts from K-State die cast. Um, of course, it's like the uh, Austin Cindric or the Bowman. I couldn't get those at the time. Now, I did get the... The, the moment back here, I did get that from KCI Diecast when it wasn't rare, when it was like just released. Uh, so yeah, 
Case of Diecast is honestly my preferred place, only because you don't need a code for free shipping. Anything twenty dollars or more is automatically free shipping, so you don't need a code or anything. You can't, you know, you don't need to uh, try to remember any codes or any stuff like that. So yeah, that's kind of why I go with Case of Diecast. Now, I mean, they're not the best with shipping out, but they used to. They used to be very awesome with shipping out diecast, but I don't know. It took them a while to get these in here, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. Ooh, look at this. We got packing peanuts, of course, you know, as it always goes, which is a good thing because I just ran out a few days ago. And I do need more, so I'm not going to complain. Ooh, we got some die cast right off the top. Oh, I see two brand new releases. Two awesome releases, I should say. Let me see if I can get one of these out. So the first one is going to be Cole Custer's 2021 Haas Tooling. Now, this, of course, is the brand new paint scheme that just got released not too long ago, like a week or so ago. Can't really remember for sure. But a brand new 2021 die cast right there in the studio. And then another one a lot of you guys are going to like. Here is the new generation, or next gen, I guess you could say, Rainbow Warrior, quote Rainbow Warrior, from William Byron. Now, this paint scheme now looking at it is actually really good. Before I never liked it, now it's like, you know what? It's not that bad. So we got two awesome brand new releases right there. Let's see, we got two more down in here. Let's see what is in store. Let's get one right here. Next one is going to be, ooh, Haley Deegan's number 17 uh, Built Ford Tough Truck. So, yeah, got a brand new Haley Deegan die cast. We've only gotten two so far. Now, this is kind of similar to, well, it's not really similar, but it kind of reminds me of her, was it Arca? Was it Arca? Arca Menards? Yeah, her Arca uh, die cast, which also have right here which i will kind of do a comparison real quick so we got that right there as well brand new box also got the detail to the truck very very cool so there's another brand new release awesome so we got one more die cast down in here and it looks like to be a repeat of course it is going to be the william byron 2021 out salsa now you know what's going to come with this right yeah you probably guessed it the 2021 homestead race version we will get this from william byron and, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. Now, I'm not going to uh, sell this one on eBay. I'm going to actually send this one to a friend. And then once we get the authentics in, then I'll send him, or I'll put that one on eBay. And I'll send this uh, one to him personally so he can get the box, gold series, you know, all that good stuff. So, from the first box, produced a pretty darn good little uh, spill of content. Which, of course, it contains two William Byrons, one Haley Deegan, and, of course, the Cole Custer down there at the bottom. So a really good start so far. Definitely going to have a whole lot of die cash reviews for the week, so do not miss out on those. I try to upload die cash reviews at 3.30 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. Uh, Monday through Friday, of course, Eastern Standard Time. So if I end up missing one, that's either because I couldn't record one or something happened or I forgot to schedule it. Either way, I try to get it done 3.30 and 5.30 every single day, of course, except for the weekends. But there is the first box, ladies and gentlemen, packed with some awesome die casts. So let's go ahead and move on to the second of the three boxes. Here is the second box. Of course, I believe it's from K-State die cast. Again, I don't remember if it was all three of these were from K-State or two of these was from K-State. I'm going to take a wild guess and just say uh, all three because it kind of came at the same time. So we're going to open this bad boy up right here i hope everybody's having a good day uh some days are you know better than others but hopefully so far you guys are having a great day uh my day's okay so far because it's like two in the morning so i, don't, I haven't really had much time to uh for anything to go bad so i just hope it stays good that's all i'm kind of hoping for so with this box being open right here of course we got more packing peanuts fantastic again i could really use those uh let's try not to spell the die cast out at once because i've done that multiple times over uh, let's see. Oh, that one's kind of weird sitting. Oh, we got another William Byron. Look at this. This is his somewhat not patriotic, but patriotic primary, if that's what you want to call it, I guess. Actually, I think this is his secondary. Because I'm pretty sure the Alexalta paint scheme back there is the primary, and I think this is secondary. So still, either way, this will be used for the Daytona 500 for the next season of the Little Wrangler Cup Series. Just whenever I can get to that, I'm going to try to really grind out the hours for making those. Because I'm very behind because I've been moving a bunch of stuff around. I've been moving out, selling some die casts, getting everything put up and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm a little behind to say the least. So the next die cast we've got in here is going to be Austin Sindrick with the 22... Uh, Xfinity Championship. Now, of course, we got the Authentics back there, the liquid color, but this is just the actual gold series. Got the banner and all that good stuff. Uh, so, oh no. 
I forgot to tell you. So with the oh no, I did review it. Never mind. I thought I didn't review the authentics because I was going to get in the gold series. I didn't re review the truck because I was going to get it in the gold series. So. Uh, yeah, there's that. Of course, got Austin Cindric with the Xfinity Series champion right there. And we should be getting his Phoenix win very soon. At least I hope so. But the race damage on that, oh my god, that's great. So we also got the uh, Austin Cindric. We've done a review for the normal Authentics. And then we got the Gold Series. And, of course, we got the Liquid Color. So we got all variants of this paint scheme uh, as much as we could. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Let's see if we've got some more. Oh, but hey, my, my light here. Let's see if we got some more in here. I'm pretty sure we do. Uh, yeah, we definitely did. We got two more in here, so let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, we got another Austin Cindric. This one is for a friend of mine, uh, because he's buying it off of me because he couldn't get it right now. So we got a duplicate piece right there. The final thing in this box, if I can even get it. Oh, let's see what we got here. Ooh, Chase Elliott's number 9, 2020, what is this, Charlotte win? Is this the Roval? I think it's the Roval. Uh... Yeah, no, yeah, I think it's the Roval. Either way, I've got a 2020 Chase Elliott paint scheme. Very, very nice. That number nine looks very small, though. You guys see that? That looks incredibly small, actually. Oof, I don't know, but we are going to have to take a look at that when we review it. Of course, got the playoffs. Got, of course, got the round of 12. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to take a look at that later on down the road whenever we get to the, of course, the uh, die cast review of that paint scheme. Man, so far, we have got a lot of paint schemes. So let's see, we got uh, three, six, those are six there, nine, ten. We got ten. We got ten paint schemes right here. Now, we're only, we're, I mean, we're not going to do a review on all of them, of course. We're going to do customs with some. We're going, we got duplicates, so we're only going to do one review of each paint scheme. So, so far, technically, that is one, two, three, four, five, nope, never mind, that was already reviewed. Five, six. So out of these ten die casts, we got six that we're going to review. I know, great ratio, right? Anyway, we're going to get onto this final box right here and see what the box contains. So here is the final box of the die cast haul. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what is in store. Now, Again, this is the final box, so I think we should... I mean, it feels pretty heavy. It feels like there's going to be another four. So we've got three sets of four, uh, plus one Authentics, and then, of course, we got the Gold Series Bowman, which I'm probably going to uh, not maybe not finish tonight, but I'm definitely going to try to get a lot done, at least the confetti and the race wear. Uh, we'll have to see. I'm going to have to compare it to my 124, and then, of course, get all the race damage and all that good stuff. We can get open. There we go. Now... More packing popcorn or packing peanuts. Awesome again. I do need those for some packaging of my own for bottom bag die cast. So let's see if we can get this scattered out. Okay, I guess I was wrong. I guess there's only two in here. Uh, let's see. Come on now. Please. There we go. Ooh, okay. So that, that, okay. I know what this one is and I know, well, obviously I know what this one is. I know what the next one is because uh, it's the only one I'm waiting on. This is the 2021 Kyle Busch. Now I actually need to get a duplicate of this for the uh, Clash Race win, which I will get in the Authentics line if possible. If not, I'll probably just order another one. But yeah, 2021 paint scheme for Kyle Busch. Uh, the box is a little, a little odd. Looks like they did a, kind of did a number on the shipping. So that's a little I don't know, a little suckish, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. And then, of course, the next one should be, I believe, Christopher Bell, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yep, there it is, Christopher Bell in the number 20 ream for 2021. This is not the uh, elite, per se. This is just the, uh, you know, the classic mold, I guess we, we could call it. Got the plastic wheels and the plastic base. This was also in Wave 5, so we're going to make the road course win, I believe. Yeah, it was the road course win. We're going to make that as well. So... Uh, two Joe Gibb Racing diecasts in that box right there. So let's kind of clean up a little bit and kind of get a recap on what we got today. So this is all the diecasts we got for today's diecast haul. Now we are going to try to get some more diecasts uh, later in the week. Or I'm, I'm, at least I'm going to order some later in the week. I got some uh, revenue coming in that I'm going to, you know, spend on some more diecasts. Imagine that, right? And then we're actually going to make some customs out of those. And actually going to be some pretty cool customs. So I would stay tuned if I were you. Got some unique ones coming in here. Some Jimmy Johnson's, Kevin Harvick's. Pretty awesome ones. And these are like older ones too, not newer ones. So you do want to kind of watch out for those if you love custom diecasts like I do. 
Now for the recap, we got three Austin Cindricks, uh, two in the gold series, of course, the liquid color as well. Uh, three William Byrons total. We got a duplicate of the Alex Alta 2021, and of course, we got the Liberty University patriotic slash non-patriotic, like secondary, whatever you want to call it. Then we got one Chase Elliott, which of course is his uh, Charlotte win. Then of course we got the uh, two, count them two, Joe Gibbs Racing diecast from Christopher Bell and from Kyle Busch, both being 2021. Cole Custer down there with Stuart Haas as well. And then we can't forget about that Bowman down at the bottom that's going to be turned into a fantastic custom. Uh, fun fact, if you're uh, I mean, actually, you're probably not going to wonder about this, but fun fact, either way, I'm going to get the other Bowman die cast and see if I can compare them and see, like, which one is worse for, like, decals and stuff. Whichever one has the worst decaling, I will turn that to a custom, and then I'll actually keep the one that's a little bit better. And I don't think I mentioned it yet, but we got that Haley Deegan truck as well. I think this is the second Haley Deegan die cast we got in the Gold Series, and then we get, this is the third release total because we got her... Uh, was it Arca win? Was it Arca? I think it was her Arca win. Either way, it was some type of win she had in the Authentics, like, I don't know, two years ago, a year ago, something like that. Either way, that's the third Haley Deegan diecast I'm aware of that got produced. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be all for this diecast haul. Got a very awesome variety of diecasts. Again, Authentics, Liquid Colors, new releases, a little bit older releases, uh, race wins, standard paint schemes, championships, trucks, stuff like that. So with that being said, that will about do it. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.